Hello again, everyone. I'm Judd Myers coming to you from BlastoffComics.com, and this is another episode of The Landing Pad. So this month, we're still talking about kid heroes. And it's always very interesting when we talk about kid heroes and talk about DC Comics. We're going to talk about Teen Titans. DC Comics, they always thought about kid heroes. They always thought about generations. Considering that we're going from 1938 all the way up to present, that only made sense. Considering that people were going to age and they were going to grow up and then somebody had to take their place. It was forward thinking. And back then, when you have Captain Marvel, well, you ought to have Captain Marvel Jr. When you have Green Arrow, well, you ought to have Speedy. Everybody had a sidekick. Now, really, they're teen heroes, but we call them sidekicks. One of the things that DC did that was very interesting was that at a certain point, they thought eventually the Justice League were going to age and splinter and become very different and mature, and who was going to take their place? Well, their sidekicks, the Teen Titans, now in their own nag. The great thing about Teen Titans was that they were kind of angry. It seemed like they were angry for being sidekicks. And they were kind of, the, all the time they were sort of second string. They never got to do the things they wanted to do. And it seemed like the heroes that they fought with, every one of them said, just stay back. Don't go too far. Don't put yourself in danger. And yet, there they were, out on the streets, fighting these, these villains with all these different powers, and all they thought was, hey, just let me do my thing. Let me be a grown-up. Let me grow up. And eventually, like every other angry teen, they left home. When they did, they came together and they formed their own league, the Teen Titans. We always thought eventually they were going to grow up, they were going to take over, and they were going to be the next generation of heroes. And what ended up happening was they became their own team, their own grown-ups. They had their own sense of values. And <laughs> most importantly that I found in the Teen Titans comics was that they were always fighting. They were always punching each other. They were always angry with one another. I've had it with all of you. You're copping out, Robin. And then we had like uh, Hawk and Dove, hands off, Buster, make me creep. They kind of were in love with each other and angry at each other and constantly trying to one-up each other. And no matter what it was, they were, I mean, imagine a group of teens all together with no adults at all, no supervision, but they had their own place. They had their own, you know, uh, uh, house to stay in. And they always, always just found themselves still angry, still upset about everything, but nobody to talk to about it. They didn't even want to talk to each other. But yet, they were turned on by each other. They went and they fought villains and they were tired and they had to go back somewhere and be together. And even if they were sick of each other, they had to be together. And eventually, of course, when we hit the 70s, some of these heroes, they started to have problems. And it became real for them. They started to grow up, but in a different generation. In a generation where there were drugs, there were temptations. There were things that happened that, well, their heroes that they were sidekicks with didn't have to face. I love these things because all of their, the heroes that took care of them were shocked and appalled by what's happened to them and what they become. And yet they've said, are you surprised? Really? You're surprised at this? Where have you been? Just like we say to our parents, where have you been? You don't understand me. That was a big deal. And they started to realize that they didn't have to be Teen Titans anymore. They'd be Titans. They didn't have to be a Justice League. They would be a league of their own. So, when you get a chance, maybe you want to pop on over to North Hollywood, California, pick up some of these old Teen Titans comics and have a look inside and be surprised by just what extraordinary storytelling is in there. How much angst and love and anger is all in there. And there's some great collections too that you can find or you can go to our website, blastoffcomics.com and you can talk with us about it. You can come and ask questions and get answers and have a place to be together. This is Judd Myers. Sending you another episode of The Landing Pad out there into the interweb. 
please join us again when we focus on mm, something else, something different, something new, because there's always something new. <laughs>